This week on Sportsman TV with Tag and Redfish for the Star Tournament. It's almost time. Come go with us. CCA Star is, a, is one of the longest lasting and richest fishing tournaments on the Gulf Coast. It's in its 20th year. It has, we have 101 days of competition and we give away about a half a million dollars in prizes. But it is an amateur tournament. You're not competing against guides. You're not competing against professionals. Um, we, it is made for everybody. We have youth divisions. We have ladies divisions. Uh, you know, and plenty of species divisions. So basically if you're into saltwater fishing, uh, in Louisiana, we've got a division for you. Now, you know, I say guides aren't eligible. They're not. They, uh, we don't want you competing against them, but I will tell you, your best way to win is get on one of their boats. We had a handful of guides last year that had winning fish caught on their boat, but their, their anglers weren't registered. We have no problem with you being a sport on, on, a, on a charter captain's boat. In fact, we encourage it. A lot of luck is involved, and that's where the tag redfish division comes from. I mean, it doesn't, we, we'll let anybody catch it. Uh, we actually gave a few years ago a 12 year old a Suburban. Made dad really, really happy. Uh, until she turned 16 and, and then demanded a, a $50,000 vehicle that uh, he had acquired. But, you know, whether you're fishing live bait, dead bait, it doesn't matter. We just want you in, we want you in the tournament. And then once you're in, in the tournament, as a CCA member, we'll be able to communicate with you, tell you what's going on on the coast, things that you need to be aware of and look out for. Um, and that's the whole goal, is get you in and get you involved. <laughs> wrong, wrong species. Hold him up. <laughs> Basically, Maurice is trolling three feet from the boat, uh, not paying attention, watching an interview, and uh, sure enough, picking up speckled trout. By the way, uh, Captain, we are looking for redfish, apparently, today to tag. And that is a nice little trout, but it will not win you a, a boat in Star. Uh, we got plenty of trout divisions, but I'm not sure that 14 inches is going to make it. Why Buoy Outfitters? Our customers know why. When you need something, you come in, you ask for it, and you can get it. Great selection of clothes here, guns, shells, calls, whatever you need. I like coming in and doing that. And more importantly for me, I'm a big bow hunter. I think these guys are better than anybody. That's why I come over to Bowie Outfitters. That's Bowie Outfitters. Perkins Road between Essen Lane and Blue Bonnet. Bowie Outfitters for everything outdoors. Sportsman.com is the South's premier hunting and fishing website. Planning a hunting or fishing trip? Visit LouisianaSportsman.com and get up-to-the-date information on weather, tides, or solar no data. Our breaking news and continually updating form will keep you up-to-date. Or visit our report section and ask the locals what's been biting and where. Need to sell or buy an outdoor item? LouisianaSportsman.com's free classifieds are the quickest way for you to reach the outdoor market. LouisianaSportsman.com, the quick way to get the most of the outdoors. As sure as the sun rises over the Gulf waters, the excitement builds for the 20th year as the 2014 CCA Louisiana Star Fishing Tournament is upon us. Me and some of my friends signed up last year, and believe it or not, I actually won. Over 101 days of fishing with over 25 inshore and offshore divisions like the Youth Division, Speckled Trout Division, and don't forget the Tagged Redfish Division. We're the first to catch a tagged redfish wins a new Chevy Silverado. Register at CCAStar.com. Share in the passion. Conserve our coast. Hey, I want to introduce you to a brand new product called Arctic Ice. Arctic Ice is a phase change material. It's derived from plants, it's non-toxic, and it's designed to hold different temperatures within your cooler 
other than that of ice. Alaskan series has a 34 degree phase change and is designed to hold a refrigerator type environment inside of your cooler. The way it works is you place the Alaskan series in the freezer, freezes overnight, usually about six to eight hours. When you're ready to go, it's ready to go. All you do is grab it out of the freezer, drop it in your cooler with your refrigerated beverages or your uh, refrigerated food, and you've got a nice, cool, dry environment all day long or longer, depending on your cooler. The Alaskan series uh, has been tested for up to 100,000 freeze-thaw cycles with no change in the characteristics whatsoever. So this is a product that's gonna last you quite a long time. We have placed it in a very heavy-duty, uh, rugged container that's dishwasher safe. If you put it on the top rack of the dishwasher, you should have no problems taking it from a cooler full of fish, putting it into your kid's lunchbox the next day. The next series we call Chill and Brew. Chill and Brew is designed to maintain what we call a beer cave environment. And when we say beer cave, what we're talking about is when you walk into a convenience store, you go to the back and you see the beer back there in the big, the big doors, you walk in and grab your beer. That's what we call the beer cave. They're usually kept around 28 degrees or just above the temperature at which beer freezes. So colder than ice, uh, but uh, not so cold that it'll freeze your beer. Chill and Brew has a phase change of 28 degrees and is designed to keep your cooler at a 28 degree, sub 32 degree, colder than ice temperature for hours, even days, depending on the cooler. So same scenario, you keep these uh, Chill and Brew in your freezer. When you're ready to head to the tailgate party or uh, to the beach with your friends, you wanna keep your beer nice and cold or your wine coolers or whatever you drink, you place the Chill and Brew in there with them and you've got beer that's colder than anybody else at the party. So that's what Chill and Brew does. Tundra series is our third series. It's designed to maintain a really unique phase change of five degrees. And what that means is that now you're able to take things like ice cream or frozen treats, or say keep meat frozen uh, for a long trip cross country. Tundra series is designed to freeze in your freezer. It may take a little longer than the Alaskan or the Chillin Brew. Freeze in your freezer at five degrees. Same scenario, you pull it from the freezer, you place it with your frozen goods, and it maintains a frozen temperature inside your cooler for hours, even days, again, depending on the type of cooler that you use it in. CCA with Wildlife and Fisheries, we have a cooperative marine tagging program. What we do is we, we use these little yellow tags we will ship them to anybody that, that wants to volunteer for, to do the tagging program. And what we do is we'll mail you a kit that has a tagging tool in it, this, the, a set of yellow tags, and these cards. And all we ask is that you fill out the information that we need, um, tag the fish, release it, and then when it's recaptured, we can tell you how much it's grown, where it swam, you know, and, and basically it helps us with all of our management plans. It's a neat program. We tagged over 6,000 fish in South Louisiana last year. Um, people like Mar Captain Maurice uh, do, do it for us, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And not to mention when it gets recaptured, you know, a year or two down the road, it's pretty neat to see what, what has happened to that fish. Uh, we, give, we send the, the tagger and the recapture angler a report and uh, tell them what happened, send them some t-shirts and some towels and things in the mail. N neat little program. This is a... Really not much you can do wrong. Jared, this one's pretty if you want to get it in the water. this one yeah we can you want it don't mind yeah let's do it why not nice fish you know it's a little big for the star tournaments we're gonna put a yellow tag in it see where he goes uh, over the next year until somebody catches him again
It's the last one of its kind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Lucifer Richards. The money fish. We are tagging the money fish. Not sure if it'll be good for a truck or a boat, but one or one or the other. Not sure which one. Just depends if you're first. That's right. This is what you're looking for. Now, technically, can I be first since I caught it? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have Hurry it. Put the tag in it. <laughs> it doesn't have it. It doesn't count till he goes back, back and, comes and back. It okay. has to be recaptured. But this is what you're looking for. Has the has the year on it and, and our office number. So you catch one, do yourself a favor, call. Don't don't wait around. You no, the biggest thing is you need to go ahead and sign up right now Absolutely. for the star tournament you, before that happens. You don't want to taste a thirty thousand dollar fish. Right. All right. You want to tag it? No, no, no. I'll let you do it. I'm, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. All right. What we're gonna do is just slide it in just like we do with the research tags. And that's it. Pulls right out of the tool, and and it's secure. It's not going to go anywhere. And now, now this fish is ready to be caught and won. Whether you're going to win a brand, <laughs> whether you're going to win a brand new Chevy Silverado or a 21 foot Nautic Star, that that's the winner. Right here in Lafitte, Louisiana, there'll be 49 other ones somewhere around the state. This is Ryan Terrio. I'm here at Bowie Outfitters and listen, I'm an avid bow hunter. If you're looking for a place with the best service in the south and wonderful accessories, not to mention a top of the line bow range, Bowie Outfitters is a place for you. A wonderful staff here and great service at Bowie, but an awesome selection of guns. We have pistols, rifles, and shotguns and everything else you could imagine. And for all those hard to find bass fishing and inshore products, Bowie Outfitters is a place for you. That's Bowie Outfitters for everything outdoors in between Essen and Blue Bonnet on Perkins Road. Don't just be a sportsman, look like one too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular Sportsman logo clothing and accessories are just a click away at louisianasportsman.com. T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, koozies, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit shop.louisianasportsman.com today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. For camping, fishing, hunting, or anything outdoors, bring along Arctic Ice. Simply freeze these versatile cooler packs and they're ready to keep your food and drinks cold throughout your outing. Arctic Ice can maintain in a cooler 60% longer than the equal weight of regular ice and with no more mess or soggy food. Arctic Ice is clean and easy. Alaskan series can maintain a sub 40 degree cooler for days and the Tundra series can keep game frozen till it gets home. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Choose Arctic Ice. Fish tagging programs have been used by fisheries biologists and fisheries managers on the state and federal level for decades to track fish migration patterns, spawning habits, and other activity. In the last decade, those programs have expanded, thanks in large part to the involvement of private recreational anglers and recreational fishing groups partnering with state fisheries agencies to help tag the fish and record the information. Organizations, especially the Coastal Conservation Association, have been working with state fisheries management agencies to provide the necessary equipment to anglers to tag fish at no cost. Other sport fishing groups like the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust have also partnered with fisheries agencies to help tag tarpon and track their migration and spawning patterns. Recently, tagging programs have gotten more sophisticated with electronic tags being inserted into speckled trout in Louisiana, in tarpon in Florida, and in great white sharks and other highly migratory fish species. Tagging programs are helping provide state and federal fisheries managers and scientists with vital information about fish, especially information that was lacking before the 2010 BP oil spill. Expanding existing programs and developing new programs that engage anglers in the tagging process is widely supported 
by the Theodore Roosevelt Conservation Partnership and its sport fishing partners and has been recommended in a report developed by TRCP, the Coastal Conservation Association and the American Sport Fishing Association on how to wisely invest oil spill recovery dollars to help sustain and expand recreational fishing in the Gulf. For more information about that report and other efforts being undertaken by TRCP and its sport fishing partners, please visit our website, trcp.org, and click on our fisheries page. And please feel free to contact us with any questions about our efforts in the Gulf and efforts to help recreational fishermen across the country. Got it. Ooh, I see another one. What you got? Big red, big red devil again. Two pound sight fishing. Golly, nice, nice. Now we breaking rods. See him going on up the bank. That big wake up there. This is a casualty of this sport. Now it happens when you get excited and everybody's trying to bring in fish. We had what, two hookups, one missing. Um, I got in a hurry and did something that I knew better, but uh, that's what happens. Uh, but I will be calling my buddy that made this one and see if uh, he'll send me another one. <laughs> CCA National was, was started in, in the mid 80s. Uh, CCA Louisiana was born a few years later. Um, we're I think in our 34th year. Uh, of, of operation in Louisiana. And the, the nice part about how CCA is organized, we do have a national group that pulls our members and, and try to get involved in, in federal fisheries management and things. But as far as money raised in Louisiana, it all stays in Louisiana. It all is managed by a uh, by board that is made up of officers from, from around the state and they determine on where it goes and what we do with it. I've been with CCA in about, about 10 years, and I'll tell you, you know, when, we, when I first started, there were a lot of things that I have, we wanted to do, we dreamed of, and we couldn't do. And uh, they're starting to happen now. So it, it is a great, fun time for us at CCA. I mean, we built a half a dozen artificial reefs in 2013. We've got even more planned this year. We've got just lots of things going on in addition to the regular fisheries management uh, that we deal with on a daily basis that most people don't even see. You know, there's lots of issues. Uh, right now, obviously, uh, our coastline and, and the erosion problem that, see, that Louisiana is facing is obviously one of the biggest and, and, and hardest issues to tackle. And whether it's based on where, where people live and, and where they work or where we like catch fish, uh, depending on how we handle that situation will determine where we're fishing for a long time. It's almost impossible for us as a small nonprofit to, to tackle coastal restoration. But what we have been doing is, is habitat recreation, um, where we all know we're losing marsh and we're losing uh, you know, some oyster beds and some of the flats that we've all grown up fishing and, and loved that held fish. Now we're using crushed concrete, limestone, and, and a handful of other uh, substances to create a better habitat for them. We try to you know, get involved in all that we can and uh, you know, give, give the recreational fishermen a, a fight and a, and a voice. Um, but you know, CCA is a resource first organization, so we're gonna do what's best for the fish in the long run. But at the end of the day, we wanna make sure your grandkids can catch them.
you know, you can't bring them all in. Oh, look at this. Now, that is a bad day. I can't believe you had him on that long without a hook. <laughs> I mean, you are amazing with a fishing pole. I, I've been trying to tell you that all day long. I, I just threw one out there, didn't even have a, have a hook in yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, look, you know. S11 sunglasses makes it like the water is not even there. For camping, fishing, hunting, or anything outdoors, bring along Arctic Ice. Simply freeze these versatile cooler packs and they're ready to keep your food and drinks cold throughout your outing. Arctic Ice can maintain in a cooler 60% longer than the equal weight of regular ice and with no more mess or soggy food. Arctic Ice is clean and easy. Alaskan series can maintain a sub 40 degree cooler for days and the Tundra series can keep game frozen till it gets home. Preserve an Arctic refuge in your cooler. Choose Arctic Ice. As sure as the sun rises over the Gulf waters, the excitement builds for the 20th year as the 2014 CCA Louisiana Star Fishing Tournament is upon us. This tournament's for everyone. My daughter and I look forward to it every year. How many can be caught over 101 days of fishing? And there is something else at stake. Your share of over half a million dollars in prizes. I plan to catch the first tag redfish this year and win the new Chevy truck. Register at CCASTAR.com. Share in the passion and serve our coast. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. <laughs> really? Oh! Quick release. I, I look. I try to make my guy's job easy, man. Easy, man. We just got on a big load of them. This is like secret spot. We don't want anybody to know we're here either, but uh, 65 braid, a quarter ounce pure poison. This is a white one. Uh, you know, it's typical. It's an easy choice for me because they bite it real good. Oh, man's trying to get me with a pole right now. Um, you know, I throw a slot white and chartreuse and white, typically. Uh, I started with a white and chartreuse when they bent the hook on it, got it hung. So I, I tied this one on. No, you know, I, you can put a trailer on it and they'll bite it with a trailer, but they seem to bite it just as well without it. You know, so, uh, and it's easy. You just throw it out there and reel it in. There's nothing, not a lot you can do with it. Don't put me in here. Put some heat on it. I got that drag kind of loose. They're gonna build my hook. Beat me up, Scotty. The new name of this boat's gonna be the Starship Enterprise. He's gonna be too big. Oh no. Ain't no way. Ain't no way he's too big. Oh. Oh no, he's 25. <laughs> if he's too big, we, we try not to tag any bulls. They travel, uh, they travel much further. What you get? What? He's 26 and three quarters. You were right. Uh, and plus, a lot of times they will they'll grow out of the slot. <laughs> they'll, grow, for me to... they'll grow out of the slot before <laughs> to get the okay from Jared here. is over. And we never want people having to call you know bull reds to, to win it. So we always try to get keep it in that. And that's how you solve that problem. <laughs> There's another one right behind him. 
Look, 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 he's right behind him. Pitch right behind him. Pitch right behind him. It's two of them right behind him. There you go. Oh, look, 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 look. No, 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 no. Get your pole. There's another one. See him right there? See him right there? Going right there. That's that redfish chaos I was talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's just everything so serene and nothing going on, and all of a sudden a whole pod of them show up. Could this be a starfish? I think, well, let's make it a starfish. I think this is a starfish. All right, this will be, a, this is the second one of the 50 going in for the summer. Uh, you know, if you would have waited a week and I already had this in it, you would have won a truck. <laughs> you know, I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> not here, you're not. <laughs> uh, this, this, limit, this area has been, off, has been put off limits. That's it. He's secured up, ready to go. Make sure he's live and well. And uh, I'll tell you, folks, obviously you're looking at a bunch of more, so there's not a whole lot of spots that you can recognize. This fish isn't going to go far. Uh, he is here in Lafitte with a couple other friends, and whether you win a Chevy truck or one of the brands.